With all of the big, monstrous animals running around on Earth, sometimes insects become the forgotten creatures of the planet. There's a few of them, however, with a sting so powerful that it guarantees you'll never forget about them again. From huge tarantula-eating wasps to fuzzy ants that are sure to knock your socks off, today we're talking about the 10 most painful insect stings in the world. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to The Supreme, and click the notification bell for more lit content. Let's get rolling. <laughs> Giant Tree Weeda. We'll kick things off today with one of the most unusual insects in the world, the giant tree weeda. This version of weeda comes with a huge set of mandibles that extend out like powerful claws. And trust me, they know how to use them. These are among the biggest insects on planet Earth. They're so big, in fact, that they dwarf some small rodents like mice when it comes to weight. What may be more impressive or disturbing is that the name Weeda comes from a Maori word, mean Weeda Punga, which translated into English means God of Ugly Things. And I could see why someone would say that this bug could in fact be just that. The New Zealand native also has an affinity for carrots, of all things, so you can take that bit of knowledge with you to your next trivia competition. There are fossils of this insect dating back over 190 million years, which means that they're actually older than some dinosaurs. Oh yeah, it also has ears on its knees. Yeah, for real. And just think, we're just getting started. Maricopa Harvester Ant up next on our list of insects that could inflict you with some major pain, we've got the Maricopa harvester ant. This insect doesn't hurt its victims with just a bite, but more than anything, it's the incredibly toxic venom. You can find this creature on the western side of the United States and in Mexico, and some reports state that this ant has the most toxic insect venom in the world. A bite from this feels 20 times worse than a honeybee sting. In addition to the punch they pack, harvester ants are also known to cause incredible physical issues to residential and commercial yards. And trust me, you don't want to get stung by one. Unlike honeybees who lose their stingers after they sting, these ants can inject their venom multiple times. And the venom is also equipped with a pheromone alarm, which is a chemical alert to other ants in the area to attack. <laughs> Red Paper Wasp. Up next, we've got one of the greatest predators of caterpillars, of all things, the Red Paper Wasp. This hefty, stinging insect packs a pretty big punch, but like most similar creatures, believe it or not, they're not out here looking for a fight. Red Paper Wasps will typically only attack if they feel as if their nest is being threatened. Now, do you want to hear something gross? These wasps get their name, red paper, from how they make their nests. They chew up wood and other vegetation, effectively turning it into paper, and use that to construct their home. Their nests are also easily identifiable. Typically attached onto a horizontal surface, their nests are essentially upside down combs. Don't you think that kind of looks like an umbrella? Now, about those caterpillars. A red paper wasp or two in your garden isn't necessarily a bad thing. In addition to their ability to help pollinate your flowers, they also love feasting on pesky plant-eating caterpillars. Western Honeybee Let's keep this fuzzy insect train moving. Well, it's not really a train, and not all of these insects are fuzzy, but this next one is. Meet the Western Honeybee. This is one creature that resides on every continent except for Antarctica. A sting from a Western Honeybee will prove to be quite painful and you may feel a burning sensation, but for most people it isn't anything that's unmanageable. If you're allergic to bees, however, this sting could prove to be fatal. Now, here's a fun fact. Do you know what happens to a colony of honeybees when the queen bee dies? Well, like any good civilization, the bees need a leader. So when a queen bee dies, the worker bees will create a new queen by feeding one of the female larvae bees a special diet of food called, for all intents and purposes, royal jelly. Now, while that may sound like something you may want to spread across your toast, trust me, you don't. Velvet Ant so is it just me, or are some of these insects incredibly cool to look at? For more in the same vein, up next we've got the velvet ant. First of all, have you ever seen an ant like that? With that soft red fur, 
It almost seems like this is a cuddly animal that may desire being snuggled up next to. Well, I think we all know that this isn't the case with the velvet ant. First of all, come on guys, you can't cuddle an ant. You'd squish it if you tried. And more than that, this ant's nickname is, get this, cow killer. Now, if you still want to cuddle up with something that's called a cow killer, then be my guest. And here's another twist for you. This velvet ant isn't an ant at all. It's actually a wingless female wasp and their stinger size, relative to the rest of their body, is the longest among any insect in the world. A sting into your hand from these insects has been compared to, quote, hot oil from the deep fryer spilling all over your entire hand. Ouch. <laughs> bullet ant. We can't talk about insects with powerful bites and stings without bringing in the bullet ant. Some say that a sting from this little bugger is equivalent to the pain from a gunshot. With that said, others say that this insect sting is the most painful on earth. Bullet ants can be found in South America, and the pain caused by this ant's venom can and will put pain into its victims for 24 hours. The bullet ant is the largest ant in the world, with most measuring over an inch in length. Steve Backshaw, an explorer, naturalist, and TV personality, recently discussed the bullet ant on BBC's Infinite Monkey Cage show and said that once you're stung by a bullet ant, the pain is throughout your whole body. Your heart rate goes up, and if you have quite a few of them, you will be passing in and out of consciousness. Sheesh, all of that from an inch-long ant. Tarantula Hawk up next, we'll turn our attention to an insect that is so big and bad that it can paralyze and drag around a real-life tarantula that's up to eight times its size. This is a tarantula hawk. Fitting name, right? This wasp is known for having one of the deadliest and most powerful insect stings in the world. This two-inch wasp is usually blue and black with brown wings, and like most insects, the males of this species are significantly smaller than the females. Typically found in the tropical areas of Southeast Asia, the tarantula wasp can also be found in Europe, Australia, and even North America. Also, like most insects, there are mad variations in species, with over 300 species of tarantula hawk around the world. The variations have allowed the insect to survive in various climates. These creatures have the most painful stings of any wasp in the world. Warrior Wasp will climb into the top three insects for the day. Up next, meet the Warrior Wasp, another paper wasp, except that this one is super fast and ultra aggressive, an insect that will attack in swarms. The Warrior Wasp is named and known for one very peculiar action. If the wasp's nest is threatened, they have a unique ability to, as a clan and all in unison, beat their wings in the same rhythm, producing an eerie sound that sort of sounds like soldiers marching to a beat. For that reason, they're also known as drumming wasps. That's all just a prelude, however, to their powerful punch packed in an extremely painful stinger. Some say it's the most painful in the world. I say I'm not trying to find out. Western Yellow Jacket A little earlier today, we talked about the Western Honeybee. Well, up next, we've got the Western Yellow Jacket. The primary difference between the two is that the honeybee stinger is equipped with a reversed barb which dislodges the stinger from the bee's body if it's ever used, killing the bee. Yellow Jackets don't have that problem, and they can and will sting you as many times as necessary in order to defend their home. One common misconception is that Yellow Jackets are a type of bee, and in fact, they're members of the wasp and hornet family. Another difference is that Yellow Jackets will make solitary nests in the ground, whereas bees live in colonies in what could be large hives that could house thousands of insects. A yellow jacket sting may not be the most powerful on today's list, but trust me, you certainly don't want to test that theory. What'd you think about today's list? There are some truly scary critters out there, right? I know. Hey, tell me, which one of these guys was your favorite? Join in on the conversation down below. You've been hanging out with the Supreme. We'll see you soon. <laughs>